Hello, my loyal subjects. My name, of course, is Your Majesty, King Chris Skate. And uh, of course, welcome to the first video of 2019. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and a fantastic New Year as well. Looking forward to this year. Um, my New Year's resolution is to post more content on this channel. I realise that I only post like four videos, I think it was, last year. That is going to change this year, I promise, guys. I absolutely promise. Now, the first video, of course, of this year is a user-submitted video suggestion, I guess. It was, on, of course, on the first video I ever posted on this channel, which is the unboxing of my Sushi Pagoda deck. If you have not seen it, go check that out. It'll be in the link in the description down below. Um, thank you ever so much for everybody that has actually supported it and watched it, commented, liked it. Uh, we hit over 1,000 views on that video, which is absolutely insane. Uh, we hit 25 subscribers last year, considering I only uploaded four videos. That's pretty good going, like five subscribers per video, I guess, which is insane. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of content to come this year, guys, I absolutely promise. Um, I've got a future video idea already in the works. I've got something that I can't necessarily talk about right this moment, but I will keep you guys informed as soon as I'm able to talk about it, I guess. And um, let's just get into this video. So, this is a... So, like I said, a comment on my first ever video. This is from Kentworth Skate Park, I do believe. It'll be on the bottom of your screen here. And it says, nice board, question mark. Fancy doing a review. So that is exactly what this video is about, guys. This is my Sushi Pagoda 8-inch deck. And it's hard rock maple. Like I said, 8-inch. Silver foil. Um, and on this, I'm currently running Fracture Hardware with Fracture Trucks, Fracture Brolly Wheels, and Apex Reds. The, ori the original thought behind this was I wanted to try something new. Now, I've grown up uh, from my early days of skating, my first ever, like, I guess, proper skateboard was a 7.5 element deck. It was just just box standard element deck. Um, and that actually got chucked under a car by a load of chubs, which is absolutely fantastic. So thanks for that, guys. Then I've sort of fluctuated between 7.5 and 7.75s, um, obviously depending on how I'm feeling. I do a lot of freestyle, flatland, weird sort of tricks that aren't necessarily seen as good tricks. This time, I don't know, it's weird. Fake tricks, as everyone else in the freestyle community likes to call, um, call it. But nonetheless, I wanted to give an eight inch deck a go. Now, I was obviously flicking through skatehut.co.uk. Um, I don't even know if they actually have this on, the, on their website anymore, but you can still find this online. Uh, just search Sushi Pagoda Foil Deck 8-inch, and it will come up on Google. Um, this was one of the main selling points for me, was that due to the price. Now, this was £30 when I got this. The more you pay, necessarily, the better the quality of the deck. This is what I mean. This is only a hard rock maple. It's not the top of the line maple decks that you can get but that doesn't necessarily matter um if you're after sort of like a cheap run around but you can still progress daily on it then i think this is probably the best run around thing you can do the concave which is actually a medium concave which i didn't realize um is absolutely phenomenal i love the build of this deck um i used to struggle with 7.5s and 7 points what is my rabbit doing Honestly, I'm um, sorry, I got distracted. Um, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm used to 7.5s and 7.75s. And I love uh, nolly tricks. So one trick I am often proud of, just saying, is of course my nolly 360s on flat. Um, and I found it quite difficult sometimes to control it. So the 8-inch surface area definitely helps uh, in controlling the board and... You know, generally helps landing tricks a lot, lot more. Um, obviously, this is enough grip tape as well. It's actually really, really grippy, uh, which definitely helps whilst you're in the air. So I, I would highly suggest the enough tie-dye grip tape as well, which you can still find online. Bargain. Um, but anyway, back to the board. Um, like I said, because of the hard rock maple, um, it is prone a lot more to bangs and dents. But obviously, if you're skating, that's sort of expected, I guess, in a way. So I'm not really all that bothered by it. Some people might be, some people might not be. Like I said, this is all down to personal preference. Um, 
And obviously the graphic, where are we? Yeah, the graphic. This is like the one thing that sort of lets it down a bit is when you're skating, you're bound to get your graphic messed up, yeah? If you're collecting skateboards, then don't ride them because then it will then obviously keep the graphic absolutely fine. But with this foil, because it is such a thin foil, holographic, um, it tends to flake off really, really easy. So all I've got to do is just get a tiny bit and you'll see that there's a tiny bit on my nail. It's going to be prone to scratching and I totally get, you know, I almost guarantee you're going to get your board scratch while skating. Don't skate if you can't do it, um, if you can't stand it. But nonetheless, this is actually a really, really good deck. Like I said, medium concave, hard rock maple, um, the nose and tail are slightly different in widths. I can't actually remember. I will put it on the bottom. Um, just so you, in case anybody actually wants to know. But honestly, I can't really feel the difference between the nose and the tail. Um, I think it's only like a 0.15 of an inch, realistically. But um, yeah, I would highly suggest this, guys. I literally have nothing bad to say about it at all. Like I said, I've literally been riding this on and off for the past year. Um, which is why it does not look very messed up, I guess, at the moment. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, I was riding this in the summer. Then it got really shitty here in the UK. Woo! Jesus, I just realised I look like I'm about to tell a ghost story. Um, but, yeah, oh, guys, if you want to check it out for yourself, if you want to order them, um, like I said, you can either Google it or I will put a couple of links in the description down below. So you can actually go find these for yourself. Um, like I said, guys, tons of future comment content, not comment. Lots of future content still to come on this channel, guys. So be sure to stick around. This has been my 8-inch Pagoda deck pummy review. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you're currently riding. If you've ridden the board, uh, ridden the Pagoda deck itself. If you want to try it. Let me know what you guys are running with at this moment in time. Obviously, it is winter here in the UK, so the weather is getting a bit is a bit crappy at the moment. So I'm looking forward to when we hit spring and I can actually get out and skate because this is killing me. This is why I haven't uploaded many um, many videos and stuff as well. But you can of course follow me on my social media, guys, to keep up with my every day to day life. Links to all those will be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope. You you have a brilliant day. I hope you reign your own kingdom. And my name's been King Chris Gate. Until next time, peace.